In this video, we'll walk through deploying one panel to GKE, labeling your data using CVAT, training a semantic segmentation model on the labeled data, and automatically annotating new data using your newly trained model. Make sure you have the latest version of Google Cloud SDK. Run the command to create your GKE cluster. Once complete, run command to get access credentials and confirm access by running a kubectl command. Next, download the latest opctl for your operating system and run the following command to initialize a params.yaml template. Refer to configuration files article in our documentation for more information about each section. Open params file and then add a namespace domain, and fully qualified domain for your deployment. You can optionally add GPU nodes by following the steps in our documentation. Next, update your node pool's params. You can get your node pool label and values by running the following kubectl command. Next, set up the default object storage for your artifacts, which is used to store logs, models, and data for your pipelines. Next, set your database credentials by updating username and password in the database section. Finally, run the following command to deploy one panel to your cluster. Once deployed, the CLI will display the hostname and wildcard domain you need to use to set up your DNS. You can also get this information again by running the opctl status command. Next, add the A record under your DNS provider and save. Run the following command to get your admin auth token for logging into OnePanel. Open your app URL with your preferred browser and then type in your credentials. Let's now launch a CVAT workspace so we can annotate our data. Click Create Workspace and select the CVAT template. Enter a name and select a node pool. Once your CVAT workspace is running, click View. In CVAT, click Create New Task. Enter a name for your task and then under Constructor, add your labels. You can then sync your data by clicking the one panel icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. In Workspace Path, enter the path you want to sync your data into. Then click Browse into Object Storage Location field and navigate to your image or video data. Finally, click Sync to Workspace. Once syncing is complete, click Refresh in CVAT and select your files. Click Submit to create your annotation task. Click Tasks. Click Job 1 to go into CVAT to start annotating your data. You can now train object detection or semantic segmentation models directly from CVAT. Click on Actions for a task you want to train a model and click on Execute Training Workflow. Select a training workflow template and update your hyperparameters by following our documentation. Click Execute Workflow to start the training workflow. Click Open Workflow Details to see your training workflow progress. You can click Logs to view real-time logs and click TensorBoard to see real-time training metrics. Once training is complete, navigate to the model folder and copy its path. Navigate back to CVAT and click Models and Create New Model and enter a model name. Click the one panel icon in the bottom right corner and paste the path you copied earlier into Object Storage Location field and enter the destination in Workspace Path. Click Sync to Workspace. You should see a log of data being synced into CVAT. Navigate to Connected File Share in CVAT and click Refresh to see newly synced files. Expand the file tree to navigate to the directory you synced your model into. Select the directory and click Submit. Click Tasks and then click Automatic Annotation under Actions menu for the task you want to annotate.
Select the model you created earlier and make sure the class label mappings are correct, then click Submit. Wait for process to complete and then click Open to open the task. Finally, click Job Number to view annotations.